Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Um, today, drinking Vocations Special Edition. It's Toucan Tropic, a double dry art IPA. There is some writing, small writing. So, punchy fruit flavours and heavy hop aromas. Two can play that game, you hear. This tropical double dry hopped IPA is brewed with twice as many hops for twice the flavour, creating a bold and intensely juicy character. Fruity, tropical and hoppy, it says. Plunge into a pool of tropical flavours with vibrant notes of mango, citrus and pine. The hops are HBC586, Simcoe and Galaxy. So... Here we go. So yeah, just had a great day at the Craft Beer Festival yesterday. And it, it's, it would have been nice to go down there today. And uh, but I'm not, one, I couldn't get a ticket anyway. And two, I'm not paying for more tickets. Spent 118 quid yesterday. So there's only so many times you can afford to do that sort of thing. So big carbonation on the inside. Quite a good hazy orange pour, white head. Hoppy nose. Um, certainly tropical aromas coming off. It's quite punchy on the uh, aromas. Cheers all. I must admit, I'd love to see Vocation and Vocation bring in their A-game. There is this thing yesterday where I was a bit disappointed again in some of the big breweries. I suppose that local breweries can afford to, you know, get the vans out and bring bars and stuff. Castle Rock's bar was bloody amazing. And Bang the Elephant, was the, the, the two outstanding um, bars of the show. Bang the Elephants had the best beers as well. All will come. Multiple reviews through the channel. Talking about the Craft Beer Festival. Talking about ways to improve it. From my point of view. From what I can see. Um, talking about ways to... You know, there's, there's lots you can do. But this is a beer review. So we'll stick to the beer on this, this occasion. So yeah, lovely, vibrant pour. Look at the colour on that. It's just stopped raining as well. So those people down the beer festival, they'll be glad for a bit of respite. <laughs> and I forgot to turn notifications on. Oh. It's new in supermarkets, I presume. It was Sainsbury's where I got it from. I absolutely presume this. I cannot for the life remember. Uh, the beer wall is going to start to increase again. Uh, I'm going to do a new beer, but I'm also going to chuck a, a couple of old beers in just to get the old stock gone and dusted, and then fill it with new beers for the for the upcoming uh, season ahead. Um, Anyway, back to this. Vocation really pushing the boundaries this year by bringing lots of great beers out. Uh, the Banoffee Pie was simply sublime last year. Um, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what they bring out later, you know. Uh, seeing how flush my children are and my wife to buy me a, a beer hall for them. Um, I have calmed the beer buying down something substantial just recently. However, I am going to start brewing again. Um, I'm going to brew three kits in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to use a kit to take out the hops that are with it and actually put hops in um, to change the you know, the, the flavour slightly to try and replicate a local beer. I may, depending on money, it's all down to money, isn't it? You know, it's life's great thing, money. Uh, 
if you've got loads, then fair play. If you haven't, then you haven't, you know. But I'm, I'm really looking at the um, starting doing some bits of grain brewing and uh, yeah, seeing how to do it and putting the effort in because I am interested, you know, it's not just about reviewing beer. I actually love the beer industry. I don't do it for money. It's not a job. It's purely a hobby and it always will be purely a hobby. Unless I get a million subscribers and it goes all down, but I doubt that'll ever happen to me. I don't go around asking people for likes and sub subscribers when I'm at when I'm over at uh, beer festivals. Simple as ever. So tasty, refreshing, good ABV on this five point two. Um, if Jagman's watching this, this would be very interesting to drink this and put this against the Castle Rock DDH that's just come out. Um, it would be interesting to, to actually get another can of this, get a can of the Castle Rock and the battle of the DDH IPAs. That would be interesting. Um, I am up for doing more battles soon. Maybe just supermarket beers, more trad beers than craft, because crafts are expensive. And uh, I'm wary that people can't afford beers at the moment, you know. So beer versus beer with the cheaper beers, then I, I am I'm up for that. Can't be putting ten pound beer versus ten pound beer. That tasted lovely. Um, like I said, punchy, tropical, easy going, easy drinking, seven minutes already. Wow. Um, yeah, lovely beer. Out of five for me, a good 4.3 out of five. Yeah. And that's it. New in supermarkets, so head to your local, I think it was Sainsbury's, and uh, go and get yourself a beer and uh, see what you think about it. But try it nonetheless. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking Maggie's Beer Reviews. If you haven't subscribed, come and join the family. We are like a family. Those who've been to beer festivals with me and met me will know that there's a genuine person behind the screen. <laughs> Cheers all.